All right, so yesterday we got to the tower is where we stopped playing, so we're picking up right where we left off. <laughs> Best game virus idea. No. Game's totally gonna end with them taking my social security number and credit card information. Look for all files on my computer marked W2. Hello, Nico. We're now inside the tower, and I'm talking to Marstead. Marcid has already left. I had to resort to contacting you directly. Hmm, for good. Here, you can rest now. Everything that's happened is like a bad dream. When you wake up, you will be home. What's wrong? Ought there be more to it? This feels wrong. Did I save the world? I think it's gonna make me use that. We can walk around really quick and see. Yep, it's just a looping, very RPG maker to have a map like this. Let's go for it. And as for you, Marstead, pop up says, we're done here. Please don't return to this world anymore. Interesting. Would have made sense to wrap with that yesterday, right? <laughs> oh wow, I've got to change my background again. This is not over. Regardless of what the entity told you, there is more to the story. Documents, my game's one shot. Look for this symbol. Once it is active, please relaunch the game. Interesting. So, documents. My games. One shot. This one is. Just always sleeping, it looks like. I can't perform this action during cutscenes. Give me an exe file to execute, right? Jeez. Okay. Now I've got a separate app that's open. Put this guy back for now. Having dreams again about field. Nico. Hello? That you? I thought I heard your voice in my dream. Oh, I'm sorry, Yahan. It's in my pockets. Clover. Ah, it glows. It's interesting. I wonder if it always glows or it's just uh, based on my distance from stuff. You're still here. Why are you still here? You! Why did you come back? I told you to stay away. You know I tried to cut the story short, is that it? But more to me, is that it? Fine. If you want to leave, I'll make sure you never do. I I told you to do as little as possible. Whoa! That's pretty wild. To layer the windows on top of each other. That's pretty crazy. It's difficult for me to move while it's layered like that, right? I think that's what they're trying to get me to layer up here, right? This part's pretty awesome. I gotta admit. I can click through the background. Okay. Definitely like a parallax effect on the screen here that's moving, but it's hard to see what it says.
Maybe that means it wants me to go left. Okay, here we go. College of that, I didn't want to put the librarian in danger. So it wants me to go north. This is awesome. <laughs> Super cool. The, this being has a habit of silencing the people who learn of its true nature. Regrettably, I have seen it happen to dear friends. But don't worry, the entity cannot touch you. Nor can it do anything to me. left the world on my own terms. Never meant for the entity to exist. Oops. Now that it is fully sentient, one thing we came close. to the bottom right one, right? The entity seeks death. Death to itself, death to the world, a relentless desire that manifested physically. I've already seen the scars. The glitches they're talking about, presumably? Right now, the entity is doing everything it can to impede your progress, stalling for even a few minutes. This is such a cool sequence. We're able to bring the sun to the tower site. That is where you, God, will make the final judgment for Of course, the entity will contact you again there. When it does, it will trick you into shattering the sun. I like how there's enough text on here for me to read it while I'm moving it. This will end the world instantly. Squall ellipsis. Another ellipsis. No, no, it's not that simple. I do not know what to do in a situation like this. I think I have to tell you the truth. The sun is the Messiah's tie to the world. Oh, I see. As long as the sun is intact, the Messiah remains trapped here. There we go. 
Shattering the sun may terminate the world, but... Sorry, thank you. I'll try to speak up. Is the game too loud? Kind of just reading it to myself here. There's some games like that let you uh, use a gamepad to control a game when the window is not in focus. That would have to be a setting you specified. Alternating between two screens isn't too hard. One left, one up two. Go hit this one. Now, what do I have that's extra here? Ah, I see. There we go. Whoa. Didn't realize things could end up like this. Please forgive me. I've seen this symbol before. Busted sun. I'm here. Hey. I never left you. The sun lit up on its own. it up, right? Clover.exe is gone. Yeah, if it's still sourced in any way in uh, RPG Maker, I don't think RPG Maker can support controller commands when the window's not in focus. This was the starting house. are gone. So you actually made it here in Papa. Guess you win, Marstead. I'll tell you how to save the world. When you reach the summit, shatter the light bulb. Told me that was going to be a trick they were going to try to pull. Oh, this one's still RPG Maker? That's interesting. I'm just humoring you. 
Not even getting help from a certain someone. He already told you about the choice, didn't he? Yeah, very off, like. You still planning to save the world, Marstead? Why are you trying so hard for this? Haven't you figured out what this world is? It's a video game. I told you at the beginning your mission is to help Nico leave. Because Nico isn't part of this world. Nico's the only thing worth saving. Final choice is up to you. I can't go against my programming. <laughs> Interesting. You only have one shot, Marstead. Choose to smash the light bulb that Nico wakes up back home like it was all a dream. But if you let Nico return the sun, the child will have to bear the weight of the sacrifice. Choose between the kid and the game world. That's interesting. At least tell Nico the truth. You do care about him, don't you? Creepy elevator ride. Green Mother 3. Finally gonna save the world. You no, know, it's real, cause you're here. Get to go home for real. About that. I need to tell you something. You can't save both. What's that supposed to mean? Send you home, we have to break the light bulb. Yeah. I don't know. I wonder, like, how would I break it if I wanted to? What should I do? What's the right thing to do? Well, I like this kid, but uh, I'm a utilitarian, so that tells me that the more uh, the more lives saved, the better. But the voice did say, "Hey, this world doesn't matter because it's a video game." <laughs> so it's just a bunch of robots and AIs and shit. So I think I'm going to tell him to return to the sun. That's where I'm going. I like that you have to choose that way. Thank you for your help. I promise I'll be okay. About that. Wouldn't be a messiah if you didn't have to sacrifice yourself, right? It's George, the librarian lady. Now, is it true that I only had one shot? This is going to be the next question. <laughs> more to it than this, especially since it, such little fanfare is sort of playing credits here. that side quest.
Thanks for playing. Yeah, right. We're not done. The fundamental lie of the game is that you only have one shot, I take it. Well, that would be kind of fun if you could never boot the game up ever again after that. <laughs> ah, it's interesting. Let's try opening it with the uh, Clover.exe. Ah. Let's read what it says. Looks like you completed your mission in the world, and I understand. I know you wish to return, but the entity called itself one shot for a reason. The restriction was implemented a long time ago. Removing it is impossible, at least for me. Don't know the full extent of your power, so pardon me if this sounds foolish, but if you'd be so kind to test something out for me, the log of your save progress may exist somewhere on your machine, maybe in the same location as this journal. If this save progress log takes the form of a file, perhaps you can manipulate it. Try removing it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Save progress dot one shot. What a cool idea. All right, so I move that to my desktop. Let's try it and see what happens. Now it just keeps wanting to close here. Different text here now. <laughs> Interesting. Dedicated to Felix. say that word and yeah, now he's opening with it <laughs> this game's cool oh, makes sense I probably had to have the clover turned on too let the game come back password hint documents document.oneshot.txt Is it still 196807? Let's try that. Okay, let's see what else is in here. Date modified. Oh wow. I got four PNG files over here, so let's open that back up. One shot password one. It looks like you were able to remove the restriction. In that case, you're ready to continue. The necessary preparations are already in place. This session might run a very different course depending on your actions. If you can recognize my symbol, you will know what to do. I confess it will be risky. Probability is high. Oh, the probability of the entity's conditional worsen is quite high. And if that happens, then. Haha, look at me, asking you for favors. Only become apprehensive once you agreed. I understand if you wish to leave some questions unanswered. I understand if you don't believe in a happy resolution. I understand if you're simply afraid of what happened. Because I am afraid too. Enjoy the world as is, if you're satisfied with the story as is, if you really don't want to see anything change for better or for worse, then pretend you never saw this, carry the session as you normally would. Don't use my journal for anything other than what you are already familiar with. This option will always remain for you. So I implore you to consider the Messiah of the world, my children, they all deserve the good ending. Thank you for listening. Okay. So I noticed there's a letter in each of these that's big, so S O L S Solstice. Over. That's pretty sweet. Oh, that was the Let me come back and check and make sure the capitalization. S O lowercase L. I think it's all lowercase. It's hard to say for sure. Oh, it doesn't matter. 
Solstice. Access granted. You found me. Why? You're already too late. Not much of the world remains. It'll be apparent once you go outside. This place was never worth saving. Do you still want to try? Actions here will affect Nico. Your mission is to help Nico leave, and most importantly, this doesn't feel right at all. Have we already been through this? <laughs> you only had one shot. I wasn't supposed to exist after that. It sounds so familiar. I like how this game sets you up to expect that the credits, that the game's not over. Strange journal. Okay, so I still have that. I don't know what, if anything, I would use it on. Gotta go get a piece of wood. It's just a different part of the simulation. It was in the bathroom up here, right? Use that spark. Okay. Basement key. Go in that door. Yeah, we did. Oh no, we used the light bulb to go in that. That's right. Diagonal staircase is very earthboundy. They like that uh, camera angle quite a bit. I do like the way the title plays out. Good. Some percentage of players will give up when they see... You only had one shot! Okay, that's it! <laughs> hey, Chaos Factor. It's grooving. Let me quickly read through those messages it gave me once I get outside here. Oh. Didn't take me straight here before, did it? I don't think it did. Right. So it said, just as a reminder, you're able to remove the restriction, you're ready to continue, the necessary preparations are already in place, the session might run differently. In your actions, if you recognize your assembly, you'll know what to do. Apprehensive, at least some questions. We have a happy resolution. Uh, see anything? I never saw this case. I'm going to use my journal for anything that you're already familiar with. Uh -huh. So I wonder when it's going to become relevant to use the journal. Oh, really? Here's how you can stop the game from auto closing if you wanted to play again. Interesting. <laughs> Nicely done, guys. Have you played this game before? It's uh, it's pretty wild. I very much recommend it. Go find my boat robot buddy. So basically, this is like a new game plus mode. Everything's the same except I have the clover book now. Let's see if I can remember everything I'm supposed to do here. There are quite a few things. You get a metal rod was one of them. Turn it into a crowbar.
I can't tell you what's happened in this game so far. It's a massive spoiler. <laughs> I want to very badly, but... It doesn't. Yeah, that would be convenient. It's me. I think the text is the same. Oh, awesome. I've heard the game's really good and very pretty. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask a spoilery question. Like, can I get away with skipping most dialogue? Is it gonna be obvious when I shouldn't be skipping? Okay, this is different. That would be our god, Marsted. I never entered into the game. How did you know? Just made sense. He remembers. It'll be obvious, okay. I have met before. Nice to meet you. This is my second time through this, which is why I'm skipping the text. Uh, I'm unable to help you. It's your mission is to save our world. <laughs> I am glad that this game has shows restraint, though. Okay, I gotta get a crowbar. Can't do anything in this room. That's gonna be for repair that later. Actually, I think that the restraint this game shows is one of my favorite things about it. Now the, the ping file says something about trying to use the journal in places where I already knew what to do, and I interpret that to mean that they want me to use the journal in place of an item when I already know the solution, but that's going to lead to an annoying playstyle where I try to interact with everything with the journal active, so is it going to be pretty clear when I need to use the journal as well? Solar battery. Fix the glass on this thing. It'll be clear. Okay, so I won't just spam it on every item in the game. Thank you. This is where the safe was, which I should already know the password to, right? It'll let me open it. Because earlier I put this text file. I do remember seeing a six-digit code. It's this text file right here that the game created partway through. 196087. Oh, maybe it changed now. That's interesting. Let me see if it's in the same place. One second. Document dot one shot dot text. It doesn't look like it's updated. Nine six eight seven. I'm guessing it changes from game to game, so you can't just follow a walkthrough. No. Okay. So maybe triggering something later is going to overwrite the file with uh, new info. That's my next guess. Clamps, rubber ducks, and shelves. It's also a readme doesn't have any new info in it. Okay. Might have been 
going like east from here. Robot up there at lookout point that I can't talk to yet because it's still deactivated. Hey, I am the Messiah. Worth a shot. It'll be important. Yeah, she gives me the thing later that has the. Clover and sitting on it, the piece of amber. Okay. Let's try going to the mines if it'll let me. Okay, sleep well, Yahan. I hope you feel better. So we go. I gotta get the screwdriver, that's right. Oh, that wasn't there before, was it? Oh, they told me there is that fox that told me I had to remember to see him again. Interesting. Short dream, a robot with a yellow eye. <laughs> cool. This is new, I think, too. It's my new book. What is this? Where did you get that book? <laughs> is this just something the slides are supposed to wake up with? I'm trouble putting yellow phosphor in it. The fact that you woke up with it in the first place it has me intrigued. The rare phosphor that the sun's made of. You're right, she has the amber necklace that has a yellow phosphor. Pieces of the broken sun from the previous universe. Just started glowing. I wonder if that means I have to open clover.exe again. Huh. Interesting. Try opening the Clover EXE again. I already have it open, but I opened it before I started here. So let's see what happens if I open it while I'm actively in game. Still looks the same. Before the puzzle was overlaying the other window with this window. Maybe it's telling me there's a switch up here. Hmm. I guess this lets me know how many steps I have to walk, right? Because it's one, two, three, four. I guess it's the third panel wall on the back. Right? Between the third and fourth panel, which is like right here. Should be a minecart like right here. Right at the beginning of the fourth wall panel. It's a clover. Ah, 
clever. <laughs> oh, I like this game. completely forgot that we never got to go further into the mines last time. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there were other areas that I wasn't able to access earlier. I guess there were places blocked by the glitch. I don't recognize this place in the protocol. This isn't supposed to be showing. Ah. How did you get here? He contacted you? How long has he been doing this? The author, right? Going out of bounds. You should turn back. Please turn back. Bad things are going to happen. Very bad things. <laughs> cool. Finally. Cart stopped as far as the tracks go. Terminal just reactivated. The power was cut off so long ago. Sure. running around a completely separate power source. Hmm. Okay. Cool. More shrimp-powered computers. Hey, it's the robot we saw in the picture. It kind of looks like, uh... Recognize the light in your eyes. First time destined to meet. What is your name? Uh, no? That was the, uh, prophecy robot. I was gonna say, they look pretty similar. And we have to find out what taming a robot is, too, right? There's so many loose ends if you just accept the credits. Seems less of a deal for a robot. Get here. How did you reach this room? My cart wasn't there when you entered the mines, was it? How did you find it? I teleported it here. One ten, one twelve, one thirteen, one seventeen, one eighteen, one nineteen. That matters later. So pop something out of his head. Trusting you with my main memory disk, you have passed the first test by showing me the book. Now you need to find a way to install the backup. Someone else is with you, right? Someone aside from Mars said a resident of this world. Robot lady. Please don't tell her you found me. Interesting. Okay. Residential tracking machine. For reference and explanation of the symbols, cross, metal units are assigned to this building, a robot is assigned to this building, electricity, power cell is assigned to this building. Ah, uh, okay. So I gotta go figure the building numbers. It's a separate puzzle from a map I've already visited. ProfitBot Zero backup system. Please insert disk. Yep, that's a computer. Okay. So we gotta figure out 110, 12, 13, 17, 18, 19. Let me open a note here. 10, 12, 13, 17, 18, 19. 
We do know if it's a robot, a medical center, or a power source. Or empty, I guess, might also be an option. Fair enough. Let me make sure that my notepad isn't blocking the clover.exe in case it matters later. All the databases seem to encode video feeds. Hmm. Top-down perspective, like the game's perspective. It's a little spooky. Found a dead end? <laughs> Try to do his puzzle for him. And the other more different profit bot. Okay, they removed the long hallway section. I appreciate that. That was the screwdriver in her house. I feel like I had it before I came here last time. Maybe there's another. Yeah, it was. So we do screwdriver, camera, lens, battery, battery, light bulb. Okay, charge the battery, which we can read the, the computer, which is going to presumably write a new text file into my documents folder so I can open the uh, thingamajig. So that was the outpost. Yeah, that's a ticket. I like this idea of, in the New Game Plus, having new puzzles uh, interact with the same game universe you've already been in. Okay. Documents. Can't make it do anything else. <laughs> so I opened up the document, right? Before it had all this lore in it, and now it just says the code you need is this. And the timestamp on it is one minute ago. It's pretty cool. Hey, Namaku, how you doing? I figured it was going to be new puzzles, basically. Part of the main game. I don't know how you'd make a beeline for the new stuff. Not allowed to just leave. Alright, 224072, right? How did you know the code? I'm magic. I had some help. Don't worry about it. So it just had the gas mask. Last time it also had the strange journal, right? Reminding us that glitches start popping up here. I'm doing well. I'm really enjoying this game. Very earthboundy, fourth wall breaky. Hey, Donovan. How you doing? I think there's something I can actually get in this building. I think I skipped it last time. There's at least some gloves, right? I don't know if it's going to require me to do all the old puzzles, but I wouldn't be able to walk through here. I think Luna was giving you crap the other day. Not even. Being goofy. Sponge. Don't think I needed to talk to anybody in here. Just need to get the syringe from the medical center. Okay, 
I mean, it was a new person, not of it. Because everybody said hi, not of it, and I think that she was joking around with everybody saying hello to you. What are you doing here? This is all... I saw this last time. So I'm talking about being tamed. It's creepy. Okay, so the numbers we're concerned with this time are... 110, 112, 113, 117, 118, and 119. So this is 119. This one has nothing in it, I think. Actually, it has a... So if one of these houses has one of these little power sources in there, does it count as power source for the purposes of the puzzle solution? Nice, not of it. This is one thirteen. Never seen Band of Brothers. Okay. So this one is just empty. So this, but then again, I'm not sure if this one is the same because, like, it just has a single jar of shrimp in it. What's that, Cass? This is 118, right? Has a robot in it. It's 118. Robot. Hello. I'm stationed here. Cool. Still need 117. Is this one? appears to be straight empty. No power or anything. So that empty is tracked separately. Empty. And then we gotta get 112 and 110. I think uh, Sailor Dan is super into that movie. He's told me about it before. 110. It's a dead robot. I assume still counts as a robot. And we gotta find 112. It's okay. And this is the medical center. Let's go cash that in. So we're gonna go back to lookout point, I think. Does a dead human still count as human? Yes. empty. 112 was medical. 113 was probably power since we didn't see anything else that could be that. 117, actually 110 was robot, if dead robot counts. 117 was empty. 118 was robot. And 119 was power. Oh, we 
wait, no, I did the order wrong here. Wait, no, no, I did it right. What's the point? Power cells inside of this building. No, that's gotta be right. So, robot 117 was definitely empty. everything in the empty spot because that was the only one that was decisively empty, right? Definitely wasn't medical and it wouldn't be power because there wasn't a power thing in there. Did I understand this puzzle correctly? I guess there was one that was... Uh, there was one that had... It didn't have a power cell, it just had... There we go. Never mind, I got it. It just had a piece of shrimp in it. Map configure. Reconfiguration successful. Interesting. What do they reconfigure in the map? It's creepy. Okay. Now. Question is, what's different on the map? Can I use the journal every single time that I see clovers? No, I guess not. Oops, sorry, the controller was disconnected. Yeah, I've had the memory disk for a while, but I haven't done anything to change with it, right? He said that I had to do something to it before I uploaded it, right? Did that just mean do the map reconfiguration? with that until it was ready. Oh, so I didn't realize he wanted me to just walk over and do a puzzle in his room. I thought he said, go take this disc in the world and do something with it and then put it into the machine. Yeah, I thought it would be bad to insert the disc before it was full of the new information. All right, well, thanks for the heads up. Prototype profit bond. Gross oversimplification of my design. Only is he not tamed. He was tailor made for this much smaller, simpler world to begin with. Me at all means this is not your first time in the world. Huh? I do. Matters is you're here now. So to successfully bypass the one shot restriction. After removing a save file. Yeah, I had a disc, and I saw that it wanted the disc, but I thought he said that I had to go update it somewhere in the world. That's why I didn't try it. I apologize. I don't even need extra hardware to remember. Close your eyes and focus. Try to picture a big room made entirely of glass. No matter what you saw in the tower, the top room never changes. There's a warp straight there. Deja vu. Okay, 
this forever ago. <laughs> Residents don't have that capacity. NPC memories don't last beyond the scope of a session. Alright. Characters, the world's residents, all their past members are built into their code. Uh, they don't exist until Mars said wills it, until I open up the game EXE. The world machine, the universe simulator that runs on Mars said's computer. <laughs> cool. So existential question. So we're not real? Oh, you are. Which is why you're important. The biggest flaw of the program is that it cannot be run independently. Requires the mental processing abilities of a real person from another universe. Ah, this is pretty. This is a pretty cool setting. I'm gonna rip off some of these ideas. Mars has to be in constant contact with you. Yeah, and I have to be pressing the buttons to progress the story. Right, it can't keep existing unless if I'm in it. It's a really cool sci-fi concept. Of course. Mars is respected, the world machine isn't all that special. It's no different from other recreational game type software. <laughs> Turns the world as many times as they like now that the restriction is nullified. Huh? All of that is consistent with their concept of what a computer game looks like. Why am I even here? Fake is a harsh word. I can't speak for Mars. <laughs> hey, beat the, by the way, bud. Yep. Why would you create a world like this? Why would you make a world that's doomed from the beginning? Why do you keep bringing me back to it? She's supposed to be a kind god. Only owns a machine that is able to generate the world from pre-existing code. Fairly limited control of events. Yeah. Someone you cannot begin to fathom. Thanks, authorial insert. It's also not designed to be the feudal quest that it is now, but too many things went wrong. Signal disruption you never expected. It's eating away at the world. Uh, it's buggy. <laughs> it had to cut stuff out of the game. Interesting. to find me. So one final attempt at fixing it. It's interesting. So the game comes out and it's like not finished. I wonder if all this stuff with the second profit bot existed in the original uh, RPG Maker 2003 version of the game or if this is new to the new version. Don't answer that. <laughs> to know at the end of the story. Enthusiastic. That was sarcasm. This session might be the last one. Gators mobilizing things, throwing everything to this one. One last shot. It's cool. Another use of one shot. It's different from the original meeting. Be enough internal resources left for Mars to be able to generate another session of this. Now it would be cool if the original one was also like after you beat it, you couldn't load it again unless if you went and found a specific save file and manually deleted it, and then they codified that in the new version of the game. Go fix the room. Meet you at the docks. Let me take care of something first. Interesting. Try to establish a connection. Hey, you okay in there? It's you. You're the robot that insisted on living in the mines. Escort the Messiah for the remainder of the Baron. We're to high concentration of square particle disruptions. More glitches. Yes way. <laughs> oh. Cool. Awesome. If you're going to ask her about her being not real, save your breath. None of the people here know their predicament. Can't even comprehend it. 
Mm-hmm. It'd be interesting if, like, going to sleep is, you know, a creator in another universe that's closing the program that is the simulation of your life. Sometimes you stay up late, it's because they're staying up playing it. happened in the tower, what I tried to do, and how you managed to see through it all. You have been through all this, even though it was only supposed to run once. You still managed to come back. How did you come back? How did you bring Nico back? And it's a break out of bounds. It was him, wasn't it? Nico's upset. What even happened in that room back there? I uh, can't see outside of bounds. Interesting. I told you to turn back. You chose to trust that man instead of me. Just his book, his ghost. This world's not real, the people are not real. That's what they were saying about sending Nico home like it's just a video game. Do, 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 do. Everything is wrong. What are we gonna do? Nyx just caved. Sigh, I saw this coming. More sudden than I anticipated. Both of you follow me. Nyx is here, but it must be hidden. Could have the dramatic escape piano. I'm not strong. You could have just asked. <laughs> I guess this is kind of the contribution of Undertale to the uh, Earthbound-like game, right? In case this does in fact become a, a genre, the false ending epilogue sequence. Although the epilogue in this feels way cooler than most of Pacifist. And it was incredibly clear that, like, the ending with the credits was not in any way a satisfactory conclusion to the story in the way that it was in Undertale. I guess the fact that the game started in the beginning made it clear that it wasn't just a goofy post-credits romp. Destabilizing. Sorry, Nico, I tried to protect you. Can't hold it off forever. It's like the programmer versus the writer. <laughs> Here's a dramatic piano. Cool new portrait. Take the child and get out. She's not real. She's an NPC. She's gonna get glitched out. Wow, that's cool. That's sad. Prophet Bot gonna have to save himself. Take his backup memory. This is where we part ways. Give it to someone named Cedric. I like how they interrupted me from doing the main quest. Like, okay, go ahead and repair the robot. Rowboat. That's awesome. Cedric. Just a game, yes. It just adds up, everything adds up. There's only certain things I can interact with. Well, I could just turn the game off, you wouldn't have to worry about it.
That was really cool. Nice. Now, would the game have progressed there if I hadn't have done the little uh, puzzle with identifying the different uh, buildings? Or would if you have stopped me after I put the floppy disk in his head? Remember what I did at the end. I remember putting in the sun. Everything got really bright. I remember a lot of the details. It would have stopped me from copying the disk. No. Yeah, plaster. So there's more vines now. I wonder if this is the same rebirth character. Please do not approach. This gate is closed until further notice. curious because it showed a bunch of black clovers there on the way into this room. Oh, we didn't have a dream sequence that time. Interesting. Bridge is broken. Okay. They're trying to teach me something here. Partially flooded, and that's still true. Wasn't this previously blocked by vines? Maybe that was further down. More glitch. I like how they planted the glitch in the original game, even though it never really interacted with your capability to adventure through the story. They used it occasionally to block your path back so you couldn't backtrack, but now it's just a natural way to slow your progress after you've already been used to it. It would have felt weird if the glitches only started showing up now, right? Savior, you're here to see me. Concentrate. Islands will collapse if I don't do something. That's why the vines... Oh. comfort, but stress is good for this. Fear is good. Makes me strong. It's cool. All the NPC characters are giving their lives for me in this ending. Cool. Alright, I'm fine. Now, would this have played out differently if I had a... Uh... Chosen the, I guess you can answer this. Would this be different at all if I had chosen to destroy the light rather than save it? Yeah, it's super neat. Good storytelling. Wait a minute, I remember something about this. <laughs> nice. I never actually thought to check over here last time, so... Door. I'm gonna use our home eventually. It would not be different. Okay, good. We're in the savior. I'm honored to meet you. Y'all are super dead. Way more than before. No worries. How did you know my name? Yeah, the Messiah just knows these things. <laughs> Monk for the cold embrace of death. Remember, I heard there's some sort of hidden passage around here. Oh, right, yeah, so I think there had to have been at least one loose thread in every zone. There's the mine. 
the burial grounds. There were a couple of places that I couldn't reach because of glitches in the third zone. There's no boat, but I can make a boat with my journal. This is a really good game. Like, it's a very well executed story. It has only and exactly what it needs. Everything is planted very smartly. symbol. Let me check something. Yup. You know it. Where did you get that? Uh, one of our friend's books. Yep. There's a boat. No problem. I really like the, uh, just the sound effects in this game. The menu sounds. The typing noise. I can't use the memory disk, right? I guess they're giving me a chance to back up and look around. It said to go find a character. I thought they said it was in this zone. I guess there's nowhere else for me to walk, so I think I'll run into them later. I'll make sure there's not like a missable here. Go. She's so happy, it's gonna be really sad when she sacrifices herself for me. I really like their character design, they look cool. Made it. It's gravestone. Yes! Mom, you're not going to believe what happened to me with Messiah. Hi. Oh, extra bummed. Is this the person? Probably. What's your name? I used to finally meet you. Cedric, yes, here we go. Okay. Prototype contacted me earlier saying you'd be on your way to the city. Uh, okay. Wow. What's a plane? I think Cedric is the author, right? They said something about the author being able to fly. No planes in my world. I don't know anyone named Calvin's in Lula. Friends with my father, previous iterations. Oh. Your dad invented planes? <laughs> So maybe he's the author's son. Yeah, that squares up inside. 
and the machine. I listen to Proto in the first place. It's the sadness of Proto, man. Actually, he's pretty dead. Oh, good. Well, he's not dead then. Not the robot lady, though. She's gone forever. Need all three of us for the big door. <laughs> Battery in the engine is dead. The engine has some gears need to be replaced. Fortunately, I already used the battery earlier, but I think I had to to see all those other things. So. Battery for the engine in a few gears. Cool. Let's give it a try. Do some more shenanigans with like reloading again, right? Bring that battery over here. I haven't found any gears elsewhere in the game, though, I don't think. Robots at the research station. It's like a metal circle with teeth. Something Magpie would have. Traitor. Such a weirdo. This time I got to keep my stuff coming here, right? Yeah, because last time I had to drop it to have enough room on the boat. <laughs> this game is good. Okay, so research station and magpie. Which I don't think I can warp to either of those locations. At least the glitches will make it easy to tell where I can and can't go. Finally, I've got the crowbar. Please don't approach. The gate is closed until further notice. Okay. Bridge is still broken. Nothing I can do about it. Got the gas mask now. Hmm. It's somewhere else inside of the area in here. And previously, I couldn't cross over these sections, right? That's where I popped out. Of all the things to throw away, he threw away the crowbar. What's wrong with you? I asked them if they know about a battery. I like the way they made a little joke about kicking the little block out of the way into an actual gameplay mechanic there. Very clever. Glitches can't go left at all. Children, right? That's where I just want to swim about down here instead. I can talk to her again, but I don't think she can do anything to help me with the glitches, because that's what's blocking me from getting to Magpie and the research station, I think. Looks like most of the bridges across the land are broken. Yes, please. Very specific locations over water, need to find the right points. Mine's just been strong. Thanks. God, she looks pretty dead. More of my friends dying. Can I get the corn kernel out of your head? Oh, that's brutal. This game is too good, man. Killing all my friends. Well, they're all sacrificing themselves for me, which is... that's cool. 
I was not expecting this game to be about the power of friendship, but hey, we got Earthbound, we got Undertale. I would say it's off about the power of I don't know what off is about. Purifying ghosts, giant cat demons that live inside bird throats. That's right, you're right. You know, the big phoenix thing that came out of the giant cat. Spirit's really looking out for us. Yeah, she is. Present tense. <laughs> Just hard to purify everything being a bad thing because it makes you turn into a duck monster. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. I liked Off. This game is a lot less pretentious than Off, though, and I enjoy that. Oh, you're the traitor guy. You're a trade? Oh, sadly abandoned when I was running around my life. Do you have a gear? I do have this box you can wind up and play a song. Oh uh, yeah, I remember mentioned that last time. You're the savior. <laughs> Thanks. I like how the item combination part of the game isn't really... Oh, I don't have the screwdriver anymore? Big guy with goggles had the music box. A t shirt. Oh, I could have gotten the t shirt again if I had disagreed. Yeah, appreciate that. What a day. Yep, plant lady's protecting you, present tense. Do you don't know if stew might be a puzzle solution later? I didn't even really notice those uh, clovers anywhere in the first playthrough, even with the book telling me to keep an eye out for them, you know? able to... hold on. Is the next place the research center? Do I access it from where I am right now? Because I'm kind of stuck as to what tiles I'm allowed to walk on and what I can't walk on. Or is there another bridge that she restored a second ago? It was elsewhere on the island. Go down here. I think it's elsewhere, isn't it? South Beach. Thank you. system cannot be used to power other things. Technical difficulties. I do not. Be right back guys, I'm gonna rest real quick.
I'm back, thanks. Where could I find a battery for the flying machine? Uh, oh. Controller just died? Maybe it's not working in the game anymore? It's fix it. Still waiting on my uh, new wireless adapter to come in, so I did finally find a way to get the controller to work wired. I had to use a different USB cable data sync. Make some adjustments on the computer. There we go. Okay. It can't be used for other things. What is a flying machine? Never mind. This is the main generator. I kill everyone. Sure did. It is an emergency for living beings. This is the only battery in the Glen. I could have sacrificed all the robots. Sorry. Sorry, robot friends. I gotta sacrifice all of you because I'm a butt. It's a very good decision to include the fast travel in this game. Should have gears in it, right? Your dad makes music boxes too. He's so excited. Should get this from, by the way. Uh. See the battery. Can do. Research station. I might just give it back later. Uh huh. I'm sure we can. <laughs> this world is totally wrecked soon. Sure, why not? Pictures in the battery were not designed for this type of engine. This bolt to keep getting stuck. No, that new. You say so. Bring back Proto. Uh, you're gonna have to be more specific than her. You're talking about the scientist lady? Kip? Oh, yeah, the fox. I do remember the fox. Yes. Rue. Robots can't sacrifice themselves because they're just lines of code. We're just lines of DNA code. We can't sacrifice ourselves either. I remember. It's get really sad. None of it mattered in the first place. Yes, you're trapped here for no reason. Nihilism button. He know? How do you know? Aren't you guys all supposed to be code? <laughs> Talk to yourself with how real everything is. Man's already in motion. We can't have a lot of distractions. Father put everything into this last one last run of the world. Okay. He's the author. Writer, the developer. Patch is only built to accommodate the normal rate they appear. Interesting. Uh, okay, don't answer this question because I don't want to know until the end. But I wonder if this was actually, I won't phrase it as a question, I wonder if this was actually a patch. Like if this was an update that they pushed for the game over Steam or something. All this epilogue stuff. Everything was code. I'm gonna bump the how long to beat for it. I have a sudden expectation that the estimate on how long to beat is based on getting to the fake ending. Should have checked the main push extra, but I guess I wouldn't have known that. 
to forever develop the current, much more stable version. Where this world's code, I have to build himself. I just wonder if people like played this game on launch and didn't have the patch. Or what triggers the patch to download. If that's in fact the case, I'm not sure. Did say something being built to greet the Messiah. There we go. None of us are part of the simulation. Our home world, the real world, was actually destroyed a long time ago. Scientists from all over the world tried to stop it, but the outlook was bleak. A vague prophecy about a messiah from another world became everyone's last passion of hope. Prophet bot, prototype, built to predict the future about the specifics of the messiah. The messiah would not have been able to arrive to our world in time. The messiah could not even be born before the world ended. Who we'll abandoned their research and resolved to peacefully live out their final years. Even though saving the world was impossible, they didn't want our existence to be in vain. They built this most ambitious project, the World Machine. A large, detailed facsimile of the old world. Okay, that's cool. Giant MMO. Heavy amount of modification and added narrative, my father was able to convert the entire structure into code. Sounds like they're talking about converting the RPG Maker 2003 game. <laughs> so equipment back home that was powerful enough to run the code independently. Or all the mental processing abilities of a living person. <laughs> he borrowed himself for that. He went to the trouble of converting it to the new system. Father got into the issue in the last minute. No fix it. Code ended up floating the void indefinitely. Oh, waiting on me to buy it on Steam. Coming God. That would be you. See, I felt like I was the living person I needed to borrow because I'm... The fact that I'm putting forth the effort of, like, pressing buttons on the controller is the willpower that's required to make the game progress forward. It can't just be like a movie file that's running. It's a tree falls in the forest and no one's around to hear it. Doesn't make a sound. Question. Please try to understand. The world means a lot to him. How does flying work? <laughs> good, uh, good pivot there, Nico. Try not to panic. Hey! I was just thinking that. Boat's gone. Oh no, you guys gotta come with us then. Nope. They're gonna hold off the glitches while we escape at the plane. If you wish. She's so happy. She's totally not going to make it. Cool. I really like these slideshow sequences. They're very pretty. Made it. The coolest thing I've ever done. Reactions from first timers are always delightful to watch. I sure did. It's a story of my life game. Cedric was a character in the original RPG Maker one that doesn't show up until now in this one. But it makes sense if he wasn't. We 
You said this new version was also RPG Maker, right? It blows my mind. Like, there's a couple little tells that it's RPG Maker in some of the maps with the parallax movement and the uh, character pathing, the characters spinning around and stuff like that, but they have really like gutted it and made their own thing out of it. We should do RPG Maker on stream at some point. Just like make a game, talk about it a lot. Much time left. Change of plans. Give me the memory disk. I'll be targeted again, so we should split up to keep safe. I want you to find a door under a large clock. A pair of ground access elevators. Immediately find a room and bring her back to the room. Whoa, cool. Yeah, I played around with RPG Maker when I was a kid too. Don't worry, I'm fine. <laughs> Do our best, but a Japanese thing to say. <laughs> yeah, right. The thing I struggled with RPG Maker was balancing combat. Like, they have some pre generated enemies, but you could make all the switches and story mode stuff and crap that you wanted. So, this might still exist on the internet. I was super duper Christian when I was a kid. My dad's a minister, and uh, I actually made a Christian game that was published on the internet called Quest of the Apostles about Paul. <laughs> it's actually pretty feature complete. I mean, it's only like an hour long. My dad still gets messages about it every now and then. How'd you know? I know everything. <laughs> I don't know if I could find it. It might not exist on the internet anymore. I can ask my dad if he still has it. Holy fudge! We'll think of something. Can I get another uh, parachute? Maybe would be nice. Yeah, <laughs> I like uh, mechanics design puzzles and stuff. So I pretty much would just do that and then steal other people's art. Paul's the worst character, anyway. Paul is the Jar Jar Binks of Christianity. And Darth Jar Jar is probably true in that universe. Hey, hello. Hello. Ellipses. <laughs> Squares are bad. Hey, the meteors are really cold outside. I've got a scarf too. Mine is covered in vines. Maze? She's pretty dead. You know it. RPG Maker really helped me to kind of get an intuition for the 
whole why don't they just thing, right? You realize that you know you can't just make a treasure chest in a video game. Like you got to make switches. You have to record what's in the chest. You have to make sure that the item that's in the chest gets removed and put in the inventory. You can't then interact with the chest again and get the item a second time. Like it's an involved process, and everything is like that, and it requires significant testing. Sure, what's Easter egg? Able to do shit with the button panel. Try going back north, I guess. Or was this the cafe? No. Here we are, the 11th hour. The clock has reached zero yet. Cool. Yeah, it helps you understand coding concepts like conditionals. Loops. Who took my state clear? <laughs> Try Hello Penguin. Whoa! Yeah, here's the other, uh, I like the vacuum tubes. The word documents is on the screen above the vacuum. Solstice again, probably. Hello, penguin with a space. No space. So this is the uh, loose thread from earlier. So there's a different space that I can enter. We just came here earlier and we saw the empty vacuum tubes. I think this is just a looping hallway section. Doesn't as loop as readily. It doesn't loop as readily as I thought it did. Maybe it's only a multiple playthrough thing or something. Hey, loot effects. Or maybe the space character is in a different place, or does it have to have lowercase letters in it as well? I did all uppercase. Solstice. Presumably, I don't think it changed. Cool. Ooh, this one is green, this one is red, this one is blue. Someone tall to reach it. Okay. 
go ask the elevator guy. I think this game has a colorblind mode, too. Yeah, that makes sense. Seriously? I've literally never seen another one. Do they work? Hey, tall elevator guy. Gives me the creeps, man. No kidding. Pull that lever, please. Stand on your shoulders. All oh, right, he's got the thing. Do another awkward elevator conversation with God and the Savior. <laughs> Back to the tower. Oh, neat. Now, the elevator was there last time, right? Oh no, he's sacrificing himself! Bye, dude. Friendship is magic. Can't do the tower yet, we gotta go find the uh, fox. Take it. Couldn't stop him. Saya, you came in an awful time. So I wonder if Cedric's actually up to no good. That'd be interesting too. Oh, now she's a one instead of a four. So is that different in everyone's playthrough? The face and in every new game plus? That's what you need to look for. Oh, I didn't realize Cedric was supposed to be a boy. I guess you can tell if someone's supposed to be a kid based on whether they're two tiles tall or not. Nope, so much for that. The labs. Poor kid, huh? Now, did her face change just now, or is it just what she... She's like looking away now. That would make sense, because it'd be six on the back and one on the other side. About my mission. Squares will persist. Oh, so one refers to itself in the third person and says George. George doesn't want to think about it. Better for the world to die naturally. No living being should have to carry that burden. Interesting. So 
So is Jesus an important player character in our video game? <laughs> the video game called Earth? Doesn't seem like they're trying to do anything like that. But... Bring Matrixy. Oh, it's to go home. I do remember... It was yesterday. That's just because I'm streaming. Didn't even question it. Sorry for getting upset at you. No problem. It is kind of cruel if you think about it. need to choose between me and the other. Hope not. I really want to save the world. Yeah, sacrifice yourself. I'm not afraid. Good job, kid. Is Nico's gender intentionally ambiguous? I don't think I've actually noticed if anyone's referred to him as a him or a her. George has heard your conversation with Marcer and is deeply moved. Thanks, George. Simplest personality. <laughs> George rates it 10 out of 10. Important. For you, I don't need anything over there. Cat bots, heater head. If I die, I want to die reading. It wasn't really the author. The authors able to write this all down before everything went off the rails. I haven't seen him in person in so long. I love all the people with the different, like, object heads. It's just such a random thing to exist in the game, but it's like, yeah, just roll with it. Some people have toasters for heads, it's fine. The way the game is constructed, it doesn't feel like an OBT dubs thing. I die soon, I die now, I probably said one original idea out there. No problem. Creation of profit bots. These are the characters that look a lot like a uh, cave story. I really like the story in cave story, but this one, uh, it's just much more well constructed. Cave story did feel like an OBT dubs game, like the creator had a very specific idea in their head, had created the 70 episode anime that he assumed that you watched before playing it. So you can kind of piece it together if you read the wiki and follow the community really closely and beat the game a bunch of times. This is very easy to understand on a first playthrough. Didn't care much for the cave. Yeah, that's it. Cave Story's storytelling is much more Japanese. Although I've played Japanese games and watched Japanese stories that are pretty straightforward. I don't know if I can completely blame that kind of approach on uh, it being Japanese, you know? Although, like we were discussing in Discord a while ago, I've only ever seen Japanese storytellers that do that 
I wrote a 70 episode anime in my head. And I'm gonna assume you've watched it. It's very Tetsuya Nomura, Hideki Kamiya. But like, Kojima does a pretty good job of bringing you into his world, planting things. Even if it's still super weird. Hey, Fox. You're here, Nico. I did. Go back to the clock room. Now, when they say the clock room, do they mean the vacuum tubes that count down to zero? I wonder to what extent, like, proper storytelling style, to the extent that there is a proper way to tell stories, is discovered or invented, you know what I mean? I think that I would say that planting is a really important idea. Story can't really be good if it just kind of throws stuff out there every ten minutes without giving you any heads up that it's on its way. But I'm not, is that objectively a true thing about storytelling, or is it just something that humans have agreed on? Huh, so how can I get back up to the clock room? It's true. I don't want to go in the tower yet, I'm guessing that might end the game if I do. It does! Nice. They did plant that there was the other elevator in the room up here earlier. Where are the other two? Ah, oh, Prototype and Cedric. Cedric was going to bring him back. There goes our only chance. Cedric's going to show up the last seconds. I have to stand on one, I see. It's the tallest building in the refuge, favorite place in the world. Sure. Please don't, like, jump. Cool. Please don't let the light bulb fall between the... Because maybe it'll get stuck. Knowing all this is fake, simulated... I'm really sorry about that. I can't imagine how you must feel. I think there's probably more that people care about storytelling than they realize they care about, right? It's sort of like a movie can have bad cinematography or bad construction. You might not like it and not realize why you don't like it. The world machine. Entity is the world machine. Story barely has an antagonist, yeah. Interesting. Never let a living being come to harm. Ah, uh, okay. Doing a Asimov thing. I've referenced that before. Thanks, Elias, for the host. Appreciate it. She 
machines handle conflicts in their code very badly. Most of his time testing it over and over again, scaling down the story, reiterating the narrative. Missing the deadline. Fix the world machine, we tried. The world machine doesn't believe any of the world's residents are real, myself included. Taming? Yeah, you gonna finally tell me what that is? Do you know what a robot is? No, I mean, do you know what a robot is? Tell me all about robots. But is it a real person? It's being his entire existence is code and flexible programming with thoughts dictated by someone else's design. Be copied, they can be mass produced, and be assigned all sorts of jobs. They'll never confuse themselves with the living, they will always be bound by their code, the knowledge that they are a robot. Limitation than anything else. People have tried, but it's a recipe for disaster. It's what happened to the world machine. I run on the code that is my DNA, right? Establish a bond with it. If the strength of that bond is strong enough, the robot's mental capacity will start to develop outside its programming. Complete suspension of disbelief on your end, though. You have to fully embrace the robot as a genuine living person, even though they're not. Okay, I appreciate that. Talking about Nico, the main character. This content update involves some pretty deep code work. Interesting. Had our little banister lore dump. I guess I don't know how else they could have done that there. They could have left it unknown. Yay, robot assembly room survived the glitching. Good job. I feel like the developer is patting himself on the back a little bit. We got our full party for the first time. A robot, a fox, and an uh, inventor kid? Code portals. Move us from the world. Now, my father has hidden a decryption key in our code with a text file as a shell. Is it gonna let me read the text file that was previously difficult to read? It does sound like a party you'd find in Mother 4. Confused cat noises. These portals will represent a physical location on Marstead's machine. Ah. We'll be sent to that location, wherever that is. I'm already, I'm sure Marstead's pretty familiar with retrieving puzzle pieces from this world on their computer. We'll move around some things. Moving the keys from the small portal to the big one. Right, because, uh... Uh, what was the rule? Shoot. Red was the weakest, right? Blue was the middle and green was the strongest. Was that right from the document? Remember red was the weakest. I don't remember if blue was the strongest or green was the strongest. So we're going to turn on the desktop capture again. We haven't done that in a little while. Oh, here we go. Portal 1, Portal 2, Portal 3. Okay. <laughs> a 
that's cool. Put me in the big portal. Put me in the pig portal. Okay. Cool. This game is so rad. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> now they're in here, opening a door. Nice. That's awesome. The author's room, presumably. say it's the world machine it's like the devil machine Clover's in the glass case uh, piece of amber on the string. Close the game. And open it back up and see what happens. Really glad we went to the trouble of setting up the shortcuts on the stream deck for this. It makes it really easy to swap between them. set of scenes from the game. This is like the Luminous Hall sequence in Earthbound. a long hallway. So is this. I won't play it though. This is very earthbound, right? World machine, you see a reflection of your face. The devil machine. Nico, relax. I'm just borrowing a reflection to talk to you. So that my physical form is good for that. Did you see? Get out of here. Let me meet my end in peace. It's alright. Part of the tower, the center of the engine, inside my head. My original name. Told you? You don't know about that? I thought you were the world. This was outside the protocol. The session was never supposed to happen the way it did. The story wasn't written into my protocol at all. This is the thing that's been yelling at me the whole game, right? Not the author, but the entity. Found a hidden map. Didn't even recognize it. Couldn't see anything there. Really are a flawed machine. K. 
Yes, it was. Hmm. New game out of the experience of developing a buggy game. And capacious paths. Oh, they found out. Interesting. Previous iterations had more people. People like me. I feel like there's a fundamental question here of what's the difference between a living person and a, an NPC. There isn't one, right? Even in the real world, like I'm somebody else's NPC. The whole idea that like you can pretend like a robot is a living person by suspending your disbelief. Like that's that's what life is. The original ending was a happy one. You were supposed to place the sun at the summit, then credits would scroll. Turn to the room you woke up in, and that's where you've been able to leave. The code's gone. Shattering the sun is supposed to be a workaround. I don't even remember the original code well enough to describe it. Hmm. Never let a living being come to harm. So that's why it kept saying that I needed to shatter the thing to save Nico. Your code too, you know this. Even Nico's not really real. I mean, I guess I'm directing him as the protagonist. How do the characters and people know how to respond? a really good question. It's because robot friendship is magic. How many times do I have to say this? The code is gone. It's all squares now. I'll risk it. Tamed. Yes, you are. You talk just like the tamed robots I know. The robot lady prototype. Taming's when a real person cares about you. Don't you they use the word tame of all the verbs? Why do I keep coming back? Why do you think he'd restart even after the ending? He wants to save the both of us. tower. Probably would have been better if I shattered it in the first ending and then put it on there in the second ending when Nico specified that's what he wanted. Gotta let people sacrifice themselves. Thanks, Chaos! Appreciate that! You're super awesome. Thanks. Appreciate that. Appreciate it, dude. Looking out. I do like this sequence. Nico will be able to reach the tower summit at the end of the credits. After replacing the sun, we'll go back to where it all began. You'll be able to go home from there. But this is permanent. If Nico wakes up back home, the world will only exist as a memory. For Nico, a dream. Like thousands, so it would actually be a one shot. Thousands of other stories. As long as Nico remembers this place, as long as you remember this place, it'll be alright. Oh, in the next room. Okay. 
kind of sad that the dead characters come back. Robot lady, you're not dead anymore. I guess we are restoring the game world is the whole point here. Sacrifice your characters and leave them dead. The whole point is they were restarting the world, so I guess it makes sense they come back to see why. I do feel I like this game a lot. I think it's basically perfect. I have very few complaints, but I think that this whole epilogue sequence seems wordier and more exposition heavy than everything before the original ending. Which it makes me wonder if it's a different team that wrote it. It seems like they're more focused on exposition and dialogue here. They're less like puzzles in gameplay, right? Hello! Can't move. She's fine. It wasn't even squares that did it. That's what makes me think that this was developed way after the original stories, because the tone feels pretty different in the second part. They did die, but they didn't force me to see them die. Is he in limbo? They're fine. Everyone is fine. Send them home soon. First it says you're not dead. Testers of the original one shot. And this testers, you know who you are, crap from Driver San Francisco. No, you're fine. Be papal. She's my baby. That leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? Goodbye, Nico. Here goes nothing. Okay, it's good that they don't have you repeat the choice there. I didn't miss my chance. That opportunity only came once in a lifetime. dead. Do you like the private robots costume? I can leave. It's weird with a bright color scheme. I think it worked. It did. It's a portal. Hey, wheat field. Probably not. <laughs> I like this game. 
Yeah, I might get Andrew or Jaden to play it. These people won't stop existing. I'll be in your memory. Okay, I agree with that. That's a good philosophy. I'll never forget you either, buddy. Tell people about this crazy game. He walked off the screen. No way. Hold on. I think I caught it just in time. That was really cool. <laughs> he walked out of the window of the game down below to the taskbar at the bottom there. That was super cool. Wow. I barely caught the last split second of it. Let's see what happens if I launch it again. Ah, now it hasn't started over. Something in this corner here. You're back. Are you not happy? Can't. Nico's gone. Even without Nico, there's no story for me to tell. No Messiah to traverse the land. Nico still remembers this place. It'll just be a recording. I'll just be using Nico's memories. No. So that's a way that I can basically restart. Him walking off the bottom of the the window, that's man. <laughs> that was super cool. I'm glad that I didn't have the window like down here, right? I wouldn't have noticed it. So it's the same as the original ending, except that the path on the bottom is out there. That game was really cool. Thank you for sharing that game, Saucer. That's going to stick with me for a long time. I really enjoyed it. Um, if you had other factoids to share about it, now's the time. I'm going to go and get Frog Fractions ready, which is a Flash game, so it might be a little janky. I think we'll have just enough time to finish it back soon.